Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I was very proud of myself because I began to see that I am developing in the Lord and I am learning or I have learned how to give it to God, how to give it to him and let him resolve it. And this is the attitude that many of you should have. And you will know, you will know when you have given it to God, when you have factually given your cares and your worries to God, when you've given it to God, you will feel a heaviness, a heaviness drop off, off of you. You will feel a heaviness drop off of you. That is evidence of how you know that you've given everything that is, that is trying to weigh you down. You have given it to God. And our mindset should be however the Lord chooses to handle this. Rather, it is uh, uh, how I want him to or if God does something different. Regardless, God is able regardless of how God does it. And that was the mindset or the attitude I had with this company. Uh, I said, you know what, God, I'm going to give this to you. I'm going to fill out this application with this company and I am going to give it to you and I'm going to let you handle this. I gave it to God and I talked to a representative from this company. And after that phone call, I had my doubts or my premonitions about what the outcome would be. And I said, you know what, whatever. <laughs> You know, and sometimes you have to for those of you who have older people around you, for, for those of you who really pay attention to detail with older people or senior citizens, some of them. And it's, 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 it's kind of comical from a, a positive uh, kind of, you know, a positive point of view. Some people who have been in this world for 60 and 70 years, sometimes they have. A mentality to say, you know what, I've, I've been here for 60 and 70 years, whatever, you know, whatever happened, happened. God, God, I'm not going to worry about it. And sometimes that is the best mindset to have. You know what, God got it. I'm not going to worry about it. It is all good. God is going to take care of this. A lot of times it is good to have that way of thinking. Just don't worry about it. And I'm sure some of you have seen people like that. And I admire that way of thinking. You know, I've I've seen you know, uh, I've seen people around me who are just old and seasoned in the Lord. And they said, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. And it can be like the most aggressive situation. And they'll say, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. It is what it is. God got it. I mean, their house could have just burnt, burnt up. OK, nobody, nobody got hurt, but their whole house could have burnt down. And they're like, whatever, God got it. I'm not going to worry. Like that type of that type of faith. Hey, man, it's very powerful because there's some people who will just lose it and just fall apart. And their whole body could just be breaking down. And their mindset is, it's OK. God got it. I'm not going to worry about it. Sometimes that is the best way to be in some areas. I don't mean to where you're nonchalant and it's. A issue, but when you're nonchalant and you don't care about these natural things, and you factually have say, "For God, I live, and for God, I die," and whatever the situation is, God got it. It is what it is. Sometimes you have to do that, and I found myself doing that as I grow older in the Lord. Like you know what, whatever. If God does it, I know God is able. If He choose not to, then it's okay. God got me. Take that. Inherit that that way of thinking. Okay. Give it to God and keep it moving. Okay. Give it to God and keep it moving. Amen. Um, as you begin to really focus or as you begin to absorb first Peter chapter five, uh, verse seven, give our care to God. Okay. Because there are so many of you who will come across this content. There are so many people who are trying to do things the natural carnal way. There are so many of you who are giving are, are giving your worries to, to natural men who can't help you and those who are unconcerned. And I've always wondered why do people tell why do people tell people who don't care about them their 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 problems? You ever like been out somewhere and you see people talking to a stranger and they're telling that stranger all their issues and all their problems and you can tell that person doesn't even care. They have no interest. They're like on their phone 
being non involved in the conversation and that person is just telling everything that they're going through that person does not care you don't want to be like that give your problems to God now of course there are people who are genuine there are people who are loving that God will connect to us who we can release ourselves to but we want to really really uh express our 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 worries to to God most importantly, and to people who care about us, people who can pray us through. Amen. God, you know, let's not be just tell any stranger or someone who doesn't care our, our business. Be very careful who you tell your business to. There's some people they do not care. And there are some people they love to see you suffering. They love to see you you worrying. There, there are some people, they are very evil. They are children of, of the devil. And I'm going to teach that. The Lord gave me a message uh, yesterday. That, that I'm going to teach about that, uh, children of the devil. Uh, so be on the lookout for that message. Uh, so it's a powerful message and some things God placed in my spirit. There are some people that are children of, of the devil. They are literally of Satan. They are in a wicked uh state of mind and they love being evil and there are some people around so many of you they would love to see you hurting i mean some people they get a kick out of it and and they there's a smirk that many of them this demonic grimacing smirk that they have when they hear that you're struggling or when you're suffering or when you're going through something there's people who who love to see the people of faith struggle and 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 going through that some people when when God is blessing you, they get upset. But when you're going through something very difficult, they get happy and they get really, really charged and amped up and kind of excited to see you you hurting. Never release yourself to those people. Never release the things that you're going through to, to, to those type of people. They're, they're evil and wicked and they could care less. But I'm a living witness that God will connect you to people who you can release your, yourself to. Uh, limited information that we pray for you. But there are several people who are doing it against the blueprint of God. Peter instructs us, give our cares to God because he, he cares. He loves us. But there are several people who are talking to 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 fake friends. They're telling their their worries and their business to co-workers. They're telling their 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 business to a pastor, a fake evil pastor. And I'm fully aware that all pastors are not like this. But don't give your don't tell your cares to an evil pastor. And this is why so many of you need discernment. And this is my fear is that there are some of you. In, and, and I've seen this. There are so many people. They don't operate in discernment. Because discernment uh, enables us to be able to identify who is of God and who is not. And there are so many of you who really need to pray for that, that your discernment will truly be activated. I've seen people who proclaim faith and there was an evil person right there in front of them. I saw it, but they didn't. But they proclaimed faith. People, we must have discernment in who we tell stuff to, okay? There are some people that are just blatantly evil and you're telling them all of your business and now many of you, because you didn't do it God's way, Peter instructs us to give it to God. But many of you gave gave you cast your cares upon evil people who can't do anything. And some of you, these evil people now have the upper hand to try to hunt you because now you've told them everything that you're going through. And in that conversation, they're able to really, really dissect and create a base of attack to bring failure in your life. And I want to say this to particularly women in general. Amen. I have two older sisters who who uh, uh, so I'm able to understand how we can be protective uh, over our siblings. And and women, be very careful the type of people that you tell type of men and even women be type of because the enemy can use anyone. Be, be, be careful upon who you tell your business to. There are some of you who've told men that you're single. You've told them that you live alone and, you know, uh, you have kids. And, and based off that conversation and you've told them all of your fears and your doubts and your worries and they have took all of that. And now they, they're going to use that as a weapon against you to try to manipulate you and to try to create 
failure in your life. So many of you have told them everything. Some of you who are trying to practice abstinence, those of you who are practicing abstinence, you are refraining or trying to refrain from sexual intercourse into marriage. You've told people that how long it's been since you've uh, had sex. And they are able to somewhat absorb that and say, OK, you haven't did anything in six or seven months or even years. I'm going to try to seduce you, you know, to fall into sexual sin because you've told them everything. You've you've told them your doubts, your fears, your struggles. And now they're building quite the arsenal to try to bring failure in your life. There are some of you wives and, and, and husbands who are married, who are going through things in your marriage. You've told people who don't care about you, your issues in your marriage and, and you're casting your cares upon the wrong people. OK, and this man is able to say, OK, you're having issues in your marriage. You have a void. OK, OK. So now he's thinking in his mind that you're needy, you're emotionally needy and you are being deprived at home with your spouse. And now that man or that woman is building an attack to try to lure you into spiritual failure and to capitalize off your heaviness. Be very careful who you cast your cares upon people. Be extremely careful. This is why the Bible says that a wise man keep some things to himself. There's people who are going to to psychics they're 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 going to uh all these other areas looking for relief it amazes me how people want to go to every other source people want to cast their cares upon everything but god and this is why motivational speaking is on the rise i get it there are some people who are really good at it i mean i could i could actually turn to one right now if i choose to but that's not got the calling on my life uh you know, motivational speaking, if that's that person's calling, I mean, that's that's them. But my assignment is to preach the gospel because everything begins in the spirit and it ends and it ends in the spirit. Nothing is carnal and nothing is natural. There are so many people who are good. Look, look for relief upon motivational speaking. And, and you know, I, I get it. There's there's a market for that. But everything ends biblical. Everything is biblical. Nothing is carnal. Nothing. And they're putting their faith into these these uh, carnal, natural, motivational speakers for relief. And, and I want to deal with this. And I want to deal with deal with this. Remember, let's put our cares upon God. OK, let's not depend on men to take our our burdens and the things that we're struggling with. Uh, there was one particular uh, individual, and this has really been heavy in my spirit lately. Uh, this particular individual who uh, seems to have rose to a high platform on YouTube uh, is a particular male, a, a man, and he gives a relationship advice. And I've sit back and I've watched uh, in terms of how he approaches people. And uh, you got all these uh, mainly women, uh, you know, giving uh, telling them their relationship issues and uh, t t telling them what they want out of a man. And it amazes me how these women are going to this this man for relationship counsel. Uh, they're casting all of their cares upon a man. And many of them has zero discernment uh, through spiritual discernment. This particular individual, this particular man is a covert narcissist. Uh, he's a snake. Uh, he's being used by the enemy, very uh, passive, aggressive, uh, combative. Uh, he's quite the emotional puppeteer in terms of how to manipulate women. That seems to be his target. Me, me, since I was a child, I always sat back and watched people. Sometimes the quiet, laid back people are able to see so much. And I'm like, wow, this man is pure evil. He's a wolf. And they and these people are giving him money and these uh Mainly women are giving him money and he's targeted a particular demographic of women. I kind of see his his hustle, his pimp. And I was quite concerned in my spirit that why are these women giving, casting all of their care upon this evil man? He's supposed to be some relationship coach. I mean, it's it's really bad. And but when I saw this man, I saw a snake. Now, yes, God loves him and God can bring deliverance right now. Uh, this man, I can look at him and tell he has no interest in holiness. 
Um, and when, when, when people use statements like you're a God at that moment, I know that, okay, this is what this is. So a lot, a lot of times God will show us things. He'll say, he'll take, he'll say, I want you to look and tell me what you see. And it was just something else. And the revelation I got is that all these women are calling in and saying, thank you for, for uh, listening to my problems and thank you for helping my marriage. I'm like, wow. But it shows you that people are putting their cares and not just women. I just use that as a reference. Men uh, do, do the same. Sometimes men can tell their business to the wrong people who do not care. We have to be careful who we cast our cares upon. We must cast our cares upon God and not man because God loves us. He loves us so much. And I want many of you begin to pray and ask God to teach you how to give your worries to him. God will bring deliverance. He will bring breakthrough. I have seen. And I want you to begin to inherit this attitude and say, you know what? Regardless of what it is, regardless of what happens, I know God got it. Regardless, God got it. Give your husband to God. Give your 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 your, your wife to a God. Those of you who are experienced, those of you who are married and you are experiencing combative behavior, fussing and arguing and, 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 and division at home, give that to God. Rebellious children, give that to God. Financial issues, give it to God. Those of you who are experiencing evil stuff at work, even those of you who are experiencing combative behavior from the fake church religious system. I've been there. Give it to God. And God will lead and guide you. And remember, whatever answer God gives you, after you give it to him, obey God. Even if God gives you an answer that you don't want to hear, let me tell you something. Obedience, obedience unto God is very powerful. There are so many of you, if you, you gave it to God and he gave you the answer and it was not the answer that you want. I'm going to tell you something now. I'm a living witness regardless of what God tell you to do, whether you like it or not. Obey the Lord because God knows all things and he knows what's best for us. Give it to God and obey. Oh, and walk in obedience unto him. Okay. And I want many of you who are going through these. These circumstances. Be very careful. And this is why when, when, when people who, who, who I've counseled. And who have asked me for counsel. When they say stuff like. Well tell me what should I do. I give you biblical counsel. And not that of my flesh. Be very careful. Of asking people, what do you think I should do? That is a very dangerous question to ask people. What do you think I should do? Seek God, because the Bible says in all things, in all your ways, acknowledge me and I shall direct your path. Ask God and he will give you the answer. OK, don't just ask random people or even people, you know, what should I do? Uh, -uh. That is a very dangerous question to ask. Now, God will use people who have wisdom, who, who will give you a biblical response. But I always tell people, I'm going to pray for you. And I ask that you would that you would spend time with God fast as he leads you and ask God and seek him. And he'll give you the answer. There are some of you because you cast your cares upon the, upon the wrong people and you and, and you told them and you asked them, what should I do? They gave you the wrong counsel. And now your life is a mess. OK. Be very careful upon asking people, what should you do? Be very careful with that. That's a very sensitive question, and that could lead to spiritual failure. Seek God. Don't be spiritually lazy, okay? God loves you, but don't be spiritually lazy. Seek after God, okay? Seek God. Cast your cares upon God, okay? And let God handle it. Let God um, 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 take care of it. Let God um, 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 resolve it, and let God do it. Amen. I'm a living witness. God to take care of you because he loves you. And he sent me to encourage you because I care about your well-being and I want you to walk in God's peace. And I want many of you to begin to pray for God's peace and God's and the love of God and the peace of God. Amen. And I declare that strength. And that you would be empowered to know how to give your worries to God in Jesus name. I declare that every evil spirit of, 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 of heaviness, stress, anxiety, doubt, and fear and frustration that has come from what you're going through, that God, the peace of God will begin to locate you and your family in Jesus name. I declare that every worry, 
every circumstances, all adversities are being resolved in, according to God's will in Jesus name. I declare that every attack of the enemy, everything the enemy is trying to do to weigh you down and to frustrate and to disappoint you is now being cast out of your life by the consuming fire of God. I declare that you would trust God. You would give it to God and trust him to resolve it in Jesus name. I declare that your faith and your trust and your consistency in God would be empowered in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare breakthrough in your life as you come across this channel for encouragement in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil spirit of failure. He's leaving your life in doubt and stress. He's leaving your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. That is the word of the Lord this, this morning. I hope and pray that something was said or mentioned that would make an impact in you and your family's life. Thank you so much for dropping by the Deliverance and Breakthrough channel. And for those of you who are seeking biblical truth, I thank God in advance for you subscribing to this channel. I will continue to put up spiritual content as the Lord leads me. And always remember, no weapon formed against you or your family shall prosper. Until next time, be blessed. Amen.